Now, but if the idea of the normal recreational remote controlled aircraft definitely isn't new, we all love flying our seaplanes. And that's something we've done before on the channel. I really especially like the crashes. You know, the idea of having a plane that, you know, is not controlled by a pilot who sits in the cockpit, but rather outside of the cockpit and that uses a remote control of some sort to control the airplane. Definitely nothing new. And these can get really professional in tech with these big jet planes that you see in air shows. But everybody, no one is as advanced as obviously the military. This right here is a remote control. We're right now in the Microsoft Flight Simulator. And this is the remote control for a drone that sits inside of a container most probably. And what are we controlling? Yes, of course, everybody, it is a drone. One of the more recent achievement in military, a good thing, because you don't threaten to lose a pilot in case of a plane crash. But this is the HVN-4B Global Hawk for the Microsoft Flight Simulator. You can buy this now for like the $12 of the marketplace. It was developed by this developer called Heaven Designs and Gibba. They had previously made a propeller drone. This right here is a pro Proper jet. The HVN-4B Global Hawk is a high-altitude, long-endurance, unmanned aerial vehicle developed by Heaven Designs and Gibba. So this is actually a, a fictional airplane that doesn't actually exist in real life, but it's really cool anyway. And it's got really good ratings. 26 people are saying five out of five stars, saying it can't get any better. People love this very exotic airplane. Seems sick, but I'm gonna wait for a free or cracked version. Good Reddit. No, but I've officially bought it and we're spawning to St. Bartholomew, probably not a place where you'd operate a drone, but I really do wonder how much runway does a drone need? <laughs> good. So let me get into the cockpit, which once again doesn't actually exist in St. Bartholomew. Let's start this up here. Station power. Ground station power. SATCOM link offline. Connect SATCOM. Oh, yes. No signal just yet. All right, let's maybe turn on the master battery. Okay, that actually works. Fuel valve, engine start. This um, works like that. This is quite simple. Engines are starting up. Just one little switch. So this plane very much resembles the Shutter Jet. Not only that it has only one engine, but also that you can start the engines off one knob. Very, very cool. Now, I'm pretty sure we can all agree that this is probably not up to military standard. This definitely, this procedures will be a lot different. But this is kind of cool. Little switches here you can manage the autopilot. Performance, cool stuff. Gadgets, let's get rid of the chocks already. Perfect. We can navigate or sim brief this. This is practically that some flyable. And so we shall start right here. Release the brakes. There we go. Throttle. Oh! Oh, we've already crashed into a PC-12. That actually went quite quick. Now, so let's see. How well can we actually fly this thing? Right, there we go. Let's taxi here. That looks uh, quite all right. Damn, this feels quite strange. All right, then. A heads-up display is a little, little weird. Okay, there you go. I think we're already on the runway. The field of view of this camera kind of does suck. So we don't really know very much of what's going on. But this is great. We shall take this airplane off. All right, let's go full power. We don't have flaps on this guy. Let's do it. We're taking off out of St. Bartholomew and we're gaining speed quite quickly. Check this out. This has got faster acceleration than most other airplanes that I've ever flown. There we go. Let's get the landing gear up, which uh, works with a switch, I guess. Cool. All right. Now we are actually again flying and it looks great. We have multiple camera views also here from a bit below, which is pretty cool. We can zoom in or out, which is great for, you know, the aerial photography we want to do. I mean, seriously, this thing's got a lot of power. Looking good. It feels quite strange to fly this, I do have to say this, but the autopilot on, it's very simple a flying thing. And it's weird to think that this is definitely reality and it has been, I mean, drones have been around for centuries. But what happens if we lose station power? Oh my God, they're dead. We can't control anything. Right. Okay, you know what, and one unrealistic part is that it actually is still controllable. Like, check this out, we can still use it. It's just the screens are turned off. That might not be the most realistic part. In general, I'm pretty sure, you know, UAV drones like this would have some sort of delay to them. This right here works seamlessly. I mean, after all, this is just the cockpit. But let's go ahead and maybe just try to land the surplane down here. You know, obviously, this begs the question, how much runway does a drone like this need? Very important. Go ahead and do this. <laughs> Final approach. There we go. I can barely see a thing. Generally, I can't see a thing. Oh my god! This is so strange. It must be so strange. 
Do what? It. All right, come on. Let me try it again here. Once again, switching to um, this view. Yeah. Yes, perfect. That's what I'm talking about. We have landed a drone. Speed brakes, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, why is there an airplane on the runway? You know, this is a surveillance plane. We were supposed to notice stuff like that. All right, things are great. We've actually been able to stop at St. Bartholomew's runway. That's been totally fun. Now, the developers of Heaven's Aircraft have some more liveries included. Not only the standard, but also a camouflaged green, which makes a lot of sense for an airplane that flies a lot, very high above in the sky to paint an aircraft green. This is great. There are, of course, other liveries you can get. This is funny. Heaven Design CCCP KGB Aviation Solutions with Putin on his calendar. That is great. In the container room of controlling the thing. That's good. All right. Now, have you ever seen a drone fly ILS approach? Apparently, this thing can. All right. We can add a common. We can add a nav, right? There it goes. Enter the frequency of 25 rights ILS Cat 1, which will be enough. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, there you go. You can see it's flying the glide slope, which is great. Uh, and yeah, 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 yes, indeed, it's kind of working. So it's not only you who doesn't have to see your remote control airplane in order to actually fly. It's also the remote control airplane that doesn't even have to see where it's flying because it has navs on board. Come on. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. I don't see a single thing anymore, and I hope it kind of... Still works out. According to our VFR map, we're coming closer and closer to the runway. Looking insanely good. I mean, have you ever seen a remote control airplane with autopilot? I don't think you have. This is great. Meanwhile, we can check some things. This is uh, the checklist. Very professional checklist in order to turn the airplane on. Am I right? What else do we have? A, 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 a clock that doesn't really work. And also a calendar, indeed. We can turn on the lights and off. We can turn on the fan or not. This is great. Meanwhile, our drone is a little lost right here. Um, I reckon it's gonna crash itself, the autopilot. I don't know why the approach mode didn't work at all. Kind of just flying above LAX airport, not really helping. But you know, perhaps you could find some mysteries. Maybe the Soviets are hiding something here. Camera unavailable. What does that mean? Oh, we might be crashing into a building like in three seconds, but it doesn't matter to us because it's not us. Also, this drone is huge. So, what there you have it? A very exotic airplane for the flight simulator. I definitely don't regret this buy that I did. For 13 bucks, this is totally cool. And it can fly anywhere as well. Check this out. No problem taking off from this runway. This has got immense power already at 160 knots. This is great. So, just as one approved. Even though I'm not quite sure if I'll ever fly this airplane again. So many thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. Now, thank you very much to my highly supporting members like Jamie Ashton, Mike C, James Duram, Ragings, Met RLG, Matt Van Z, Moritz, Bellhausen, Knott's Enthusiast, Shadow, New the York, Ryland Williams, Kelly Chaos, John O'Brien, and I'm addicted to Airbus A380s. Thank you.